Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are The Hustle Couple coming at you today with The Daily Grind on a Friday. Made it to Friday, so that means it's Q&A time. Okay, I told you we're doing wovens today, but I forgot it was Thursday yesterday. Right. Today's Friday, so we're gonna do a Q&A. You'll see the weave edition on Monday. So come back after the weekend, people. Oh, he's up. Always. There <laughs> is some crossover here. There are some questions about fabrics. Oh, so we'll okay. Get to those. Okay. So the first question was from Lynn. We just pulled these from our comments. So if you come ever on, have a question, stretch, stretch it out, buddy. Come put on. them down below. Hi. Um, I'm looking at vintage blankets and wondering how to describe the binding. So the, the edges. Uh, many call it satin, but nothing on the packaging says that. But now with your info, I'm thinking it's a feel rather than an actual fabric. Uh, satin is the result of a loom basically floating. <laughs> We're gonna get to this on Monday, but it's floating a stitch. So instead of just going over and under, over and under, like you would for a basket, you skip two or three or four. And that gives it that shiny appearance because there's less under and over. Okay. Uh, you can make satin with many materials, but they do have to have an inherent shiny quality. Okay, uh, so the material doesn't matter, it's how they are woven that produces that effect. That's exactly right, a satin weave. Okay. Uh, so you don't know what it is. And like we showed on the first video, you can't really feel the difference either. I would uh, venture to say it's probably polyester if it's on a blanket, because yeah. that can be washed. Uh, silk can be washed, but... Uh, that's a whole thing it's hand wash and you gotta dry it a certain way so i think polyester satin is probably more prevalent in a blanket that makes sense okay next next this one's for you oh no amy's asking uh when you fold over a poly mailer or priority mailer yep. like to make it fit more snugly yep. do you need to close the little gap created by the fold mm -hmm. No, and that's just my opinion. Um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, I don't ever add extra tape to keep that from flopping open. Um, it's never caused an issue for us uh, yet. <laughs> so uh, until there's an issue with it, I'm gonna keep, keep doing it because taping down that open fold is just extra time that we don't need to spend. It also gives you a place to cut and not right. damage the garment. Yeah, that too. Okay. Here's a fabric question. Okay. Can cashmere be a jersey knit? I had a 100% cashmere sweater that had rolled edges. Absolutely. Last night on our live list, we listed a cashmere jersey. Yeah. Any fiber can be made into a jersey knit. It's the way that it's knit, and it's knit in such a tightly, I don't know, way that it doesn't unravel so uh the cashmere is just a fiber it comes from the underside belly of a special goat like a special breed of goat cashmere okay. goats all right it's really nothing more than like like cotton is from a plant well cashmere is from a goat angora angora is from a rabbit right wool is from a sheep right and then if you get merino wool it's from a special kind of sheep so the cashmere goat is a special kind of goat but it's still at the end of the day a fiber and i think in the reselling community we overhype cashmere to think like some mystical magical it's just goat hair i, I agree with that totally. <laughs> yeah it's just goat hair you can you can whip it up any way you want to <laughs> okay next um uh, what's your all's opinion on daily refinement so that's chris at, over at Daily Refinement. We'll yep. link his channel down below. We watch him a lot. Advice to keep your niche to a few categories and only listing on one platform. Okay, there is a lot of contention about this topic in the reseller community. Personally, we don't, we don't subscribe to the niching down philosophy. We understand it. Totally understand it. And totally and understand all of the benefits to doing that, uh, we're just not those kind of people. And by that, I mean we get bored real easily. Um, anytime we have to do the same thing over and over, and we're just like, I just get, not I, both of us, we get sick of it, 
real fast. You have to remember we're both artists. Yeah. <laughs> so for us, it's about learning new things and expressing new ways of photographing and new systems of doing this and new ways of sourcing. <clears throat> you okay, buddy? <clears throat> He's coughing. <clears throat> okay. I was kind of scratching his neck. <clears throat> okay, you get it. Good boy. And, um, you know, so <clears throat> we'll wait for Mojo to have a you got little hairballs. <clears throat> It sounds worse than it is. That's yeah. how cats cough. Poor little guy. Probably got allergies too. <clears throat> well, Mojo, you need to get off. Move around. <laughs> he looks fine. Yeah. He's fine. <laughs> um, okay. Backing up. We're both artists. Yeah. And we enjoy the hunt. We enjoy learning new things about new clothes. We enjoy learning how to photograph new colors or new lighting or new, 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 whatever. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm, our interests are also so varied that trying to niche down into it would just it would be detrimental for our business. Not saying that you can't do that. I mean, if it works for you and you end up having better success and you're able to list more and make more money, by all means just doesn't work for us we've tried it yeah for example we got a palette one time <laughs> and we never ended up listing the palette we no. hated it we didn't have anything invested in the clothes we just it's fine everybody we just hated it and so we know that that model is probably not the best for us I, we're not going to do it again right uh anyway okay we love we love what we're doing right now which is a little bit of everything but hold on there is a but a caveat yes we stop listing things that we hate listing and that improves our productivity <laughs> immensely so if you are if you do mean niching down meaning edit and curate what you're listing we do do that yeah for example we do not list men's dress shirts anymore right unless we, uh, right you're right there's always an outlier sure if there's a one-off if we've come across like i mean we have the tom ford one we need to list right but stop you know if it's of that caliber sure we'll list a dress shirt but regular dress shirts are we're done they take too much time for us and it's just not worth it so we do look at our business and niche down from what we like to do and what works for us yeah we realize we were spending way too much time dan's way too perfectionist with the folding and the and there's always <laughs> stains on dress shirts and we're just like, nope. And yeah. so we don't do that anymore. Same thing with coffee makers. Nope. Bye. <laughs> no more coffee makers. Bye. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next. So why do you use the flat lay white background if you also use photo room? Isn't that the reason people use photo room is to take out the background and make it white? Good question. Great question. Um, yes, that is the point of photo room is to take out the background. Uh, we've found in our experience that having a, a white background to take the picture against. The the reason I do that is that it provides much, much better contrast. So photo room works easier and faster. It um, it eliminates having to retouch and refine the edges of stuff that it's cutting out, especially when I do batch mode in photo room. Uh, I have the pro version of photo room, which l allows me to batch up to 50 pictures at once. So I select all 50 pictures and I just hit go and it Boom, 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 cuts them all out automatically. And the white background really helps uh, avoid any issues. Great. Uh, okay, how can, so we talked about getting a ding. How can you tell if you got a ding on eBay? Right, um, I just answered this question, so it's fresh in my mind. Um, when you go to your seller hub on eBay and it has all the different boxes, like your, you know, you have this many orders to ship out, this is your, seller rating, whatever, under um, under seller level, it's one of the boxes on your main seller, seller hub screen. Uh, it tells you your transaction defect amount and also your late shipping amount. And if they don't say 0%, <laughs> then you have a defect. And you can click on that for more information and it'll tell you exactly how many transactions out of your total are have a defect on them and then you can go you can go in and appeal them if you want to we just so, did that yep and got them both removed yes okay uh i think you answered this one too but see people don't go back and read other people's comments all the time so that's why we were reviewing right you guys list so many items per day and i have a three thousand limit how do you guys pass that hurdle how okay. do you increase the amount you could list and how long did it take you to get to your current cap? Okay, um, 
So I, I've had my eBay account since like 2000. So that's the account that we started using when we started reselling. So it doesn't, it's, ours is a little special situation because my account is so old and therefore I have, I, I've sold a couple of handful of things throughout the years and so I've gotten feedback and stuff like that. Um, when you s first start out selling on eBay, they do impose a cap of, uh, there's like a, a number of item cap and also a monetary value cap. So you can either list a certain number of items or your items value can only total up to a certain amount. Um, I think they do that to new sellers to kind of limit your exposure, possibly, uh, and your liability. I know that you can increase those limits there's a couple of ways to increase them. Just start selling stuff. The more stuff you sell, um, eBay will automatically increase those limits for you, or you can ask them to increase those limits. Um, the, the limits in place, I'm sure they vary with various store levels as well, but I don't know that offhand. So. Okay, cool. Do you use a specific heater for your bin clothes or is it a regular dryer? Thanks. Uh, we use a heater for everything. Yeah. A regular dryer does not get hot enough. No. So this is a specially made product specifically designed to heat clothes, textiles, whatever, um, without any moisture. So it's totally dry heat. Uh, it heats up to 160 degrees. It's For called, an extended period of time. Yeah, there's like a four and an eight hour timer on it. Um, and it is definitely a special piece of equipment. It's called the Ranger. Uh, Thermal Strike makes it, and we have it linked in the description of all of our videos. Highly recommend. Yeah, I mean, if it's a little expensive, but totally worth the investment for not only your own peace of mind, but I think we've said this before and we still haven't done it. We could put in the description of all of our listings that we do treat everything for bed bugs. So. Well, it's not just bed bugs. Bed bugs, fleas, and yeah. viruses. Yeah, that too. Cannot. I mean, I know that the virus is not uh you know it's airborne so it doesn't really transfer on textile but other viruses do and 160 degrees zaps them out for yep. the most part yeah so we're not bringing in stuff into our house that's bug lit ridden or germ ridden it's just a really really good safe peace of mind you can't put shoes in it though it will <laughs> it will destroy shoes destroy the shoes yeah it loosens all the glue and then the soles start falling off and ask me how i know <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, is there a way or a spot in eBay where I can see how much I paid for shipping? Yes, absolutely. Uh, also, everything starts from your eBay seller hub. If you don't know how to get there, um, at the very top of your screen, you can hover over the little text that says My eBay, and it's got a little drop-down carrot. That'll drop down on a little menu, and then if you click on Selling, that'll take you to your seller hub. And yeah. I know. And then once you're in your seller hub, there are, there's tabs across the top. Uh, you go to, I believe it's orders. And then at the very bottom of orders says shipping labels and you click there and it will show you every single shipping label that you've bought through eBay and how much you pay for it. Nice. We recommend looking at that and keeping track of that because yeah, and when then there's also, started, it was bad. I'm going to link another eBay page below in the description. I don't know if this, URL is readily available or not, but it takes you to the page where you can see if you've been charged any shipping adjustments. They hide it. Yeah. I it's, mean, it's, you, it's it tough is to buried. find. So if you've ever wondered, hey, I wonder if this package that I shipped, if I was charged extra because I didn't weigh it properly or I didn't measure it properly. Or they this, say you didn't. Right. This page will, will show you that. So. Okay, I took the last question off of a Facebook group that we're in okay. because it had to do with fabric. Okay. Can flannel be made from cotton? I sold a pair of pajamas as flannel because they were fuzzy, warm pajama material. They were made of cotton and now this, the buyer is telling me that they aren't actually flannel. Big, fat, negative. Right. Flannel is just like satin or just like any other kind of weave. You can use any fiber. Traditionally, flannel was made from a combination of cotton and wool. Okay. But now, it's made from all kinds of things. Right. Polyester's thrown in there, it's a mix of things. 100% cotton flannel is often used in pajamas and in sheets, mm -hmm. because A, it doesn't wrinkle as easily, it's a heavyweight thing, and B, uh, the cotton is 
absorbent, moisture wicking. So you want that okay. for sheets and pajamas where you're kind of sweaty. Sure. In that situation. So flannel is just a weave and then the top of it is made fuzzy by a process called napping. Okay. And anything can be a flannel, just like a jersey. Just depends on what you want to put in it. There's traditional things, but cotton is becoming very, 100% cotton flannel is very, very popular right now. Good to know. And common. All right. Okay, so okay. we have a lot to ship today and we're getting a little bit of a late start. Oh, so uh, we better go to it, huh? E oh, one last question. Yes. When does our YouTube live start? Hey, YouTube live listing will begin Monday at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Put it on your calendar. Put a little reminder in your phone. Ding, 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 ding. Says me who never does that. No, never me either. <laughs> All right, let's go ship it. Let's do it. Welcome to the shipping station. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? 14 parcels. Yeah, and we have Poshmark too. That's crazy. It's not just a Friday, right? We don't have a sale going on yet or anything. Yeah, we need to put the sale on. Wow. Do you guys do weekend sales? Let us know. We do it. 15%. Seems to, I mean, I send out offers on top of that, so maybe that's why. Maybe that's what's doing it. So we're gonna start off with our Poshmark sale. This is a pair of carbon jogger pants. All right. This is, I think these were Dan's. I think these were yours. They were either mine or we, these don't have a ticket. or I bought them Where's to the try ticket? them and didn't like them. That's right here. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know, Nordstrom House brand? I don't know what carbon is. I don't know, it's a, it's not that great of a brand. But anyway, carbon, we've had these a while. It took us a while to get them listed, but it's Poshmark, so we can send them in anything. Yay! Hooray, hooray. And it's snowing here. I mean, it's snowy, it's not snow. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Right we'll just go anywhere, it's fine. Shove it in there. Shove it. YouTube just sent me. What happened? <laughs> YouTube just sent me a, um, a notification. I've never gotten one about someone's video that uploaded. What? Weird. I've never gotten that on my Apple Watch in my life. Like somebody you're subscribed to? Yeah. Huh. They would do that for us. Do you guys get notifications? I don't know if they have the little bell turned on, they do. On your Apple Watch though? I've never. Uh, maybe. Okay, there's the posh mark. Boom. All right, we're just gonna pack these up as I have them here. This was incredible. This We sold this within probably 10 minutes of listing it. All right, this is a brand that a lot of you know. This is Robert Graham. This has the wrong ticket on it. How did that happen? I don't know. Is that from the carbon pants? No, this is from the Vince shirt. It's from this shirt. So that ticket must have, okay, it came off on the back of the other one. There we go. I got all it. Right, I got all it. right. I got this it. This is Robert Graham. This brand used to do amazing. <laughs> yeah, much, much better. And um, here's the key. So it has this kind of crazy embroidered tag, which is cool. And normally there is like a relief pattern on the underside of the collar and the cuffs. The really high quality shirts. The Robert Graham store here, we love going there when we used to go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> right. They give you free champagne, so I'm in. And um, anyway, the retail, the resale value has gone down tremendously. So this is a double extra large, which there weren't a lot listed. Yep. And I listed it for a price that would sell. That was very competitive. I listed it at $29.99 and it sold, we got an offer for $25 in four seconds yeah <laughs> so i took it and people are like oh you could have waited and got those extra five dollars i could have but look at our we're, we're still 14 things today we don't normally do that on a friday where'd you put those polymers i told you i put them right here oh so 
I think it boosts sales. When you have really lightning fast sales like that, I think it boosts you in the algorithm. And I, I'm not lying, we've got 14 <laughs> sales. So there's something there, right? There, there's something there. I just paid eBay $5, potential $5, right. to get more exposure on my items, and I think it worked. So if we ever get the chance to have a lightning fast sale like that, we take it. What's $5 at the end of the day? Yeah, for real. We uh, could have waited two years and sold that thing for 55. What's it weigh? Just throw it. You just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't know. You know, brands go in and out of style. All right. Sweet, 12 ounces. And it could have been, okay. you know, we could have gotten more for this if it was a wild pattern. This was pretty tame. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Next up is okay. the Miracle Suit. Aiden suits are selling. We've sold three in the last 48 hours. That, yeah, that's true. Okay, the, the tag's all in here. It's called Miracle Suit. They did have a Costco situation, so they're not all worth as much as they used to be. This one is, let me see what it sold for. $30 and it sold overnight. Sweet. I think I had it listed for $39. And it's a use. It wasn't new with tags or anything. Miracle Suit does hold its value pretty well. It was a size 18W shaping and slimming crossover. Very nice. So the question we answered earlier about taping the flaps shut, this is what they meant or we're asking about. When we tape the polys over like this, this right here, they were at, somebody asked if we tape that shut. We do not. Mm. Not worth it. Ten <coughs> ounces on the miracle suit. Sweet. Okay. This oh. also sold overnight. This is Five Nights at Freddy's. I think you guys remember us showing you from our Finn's haul. Yes. This is a Funko plush. And I don't know what it means or anything, but this <laughs> nerdy Funko stuff can do really well. You think we can put him in a 4x4x4? Four by four by four? No, don't squish him. No. <laughs> boxes over there. Okay, so this plush, I know you guys aren't going to believe me here. This plush sold for $49.95 plus shipping. I just looked at the comps and this is used and it sold for 50 bucks. Right, and there's and no tags or nothing. Triple negative me? I did. Okay. Is this way too big? It's kind of way too big. Let's see. No, it's great. Okay. It's great. Great. So this box has an edge crush test, according to the certificate on the bottom, of 29 pounds per inch. Well, this is nowhere near that. <laughs> trying to, there's little hairs caught in this felt. This is amazing. I mean, I would just never overlook these little little guys i just net if it looks kind of like this in any way shape or form i'm not saying all funko plush does well i'm not saying that at all because that would be a lie right but i always look it up and if I'm, I'm at the bins and i don't have time or service to look it up i'll still get it and just try it again you look like this so if you see anything else <laughs> i don't know how to say it like nerdy like this i don't like it's kind of like a dragon or kind of like a like a fantasy animal. Kind fantasy of? animal. That's exactly. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your nerd advice. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. I did lint roll him because he this his fur. You know, everything gets stuck to it. I'm trying to make sure it's all gone because at fifty dollars. Oh, yeah. Set him in there. Uh, you want to put him in a plastic bag? Trim. Okay. At $50, I'm trimming this felt. I would not put this in the washing machine if it has felt little, Yeah. what do you call these? Flippers, fans, whatever. This is mohawk. This is a <laughs> bonded material made of glue. As soon as you put it in the washer, it's going to die on you. The particle board of fabric. Yeah. Okay. I'll take $50 overnight. That is faux show. Yep. So nice having boxes. Oh, oh it's gosh. the best. We'll never get over it. The best thing that's ever happened in our life. Okay. Nine ounces. There you go.
Okay, this is a Purinata Natural Mascara. You guys know if you're here for any length of time, I'm into the natural beauty. I bought this on accident because it's brown and I don't wear brown, but somebody does and they bought it. <laughs> Uh, they paid $12, which is about retail, so that's good. Yeah, all right. Got my money back. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Okay, this weighs two ounces. like the oldest thing ever <laughs> and we need to make a ticket for it do you have a ticket pulled up yeah I can do it. okay these are Atleta here's the key though these are super old you can tell by the tag oh, and you can also tell by how much we pay for them yeah I don't want to know about that <laughs> uh, these are an extra small tall which is probably why I got them because these weird sizes weird sorry what is the word Non-standard? Is Thank that a you. word? Thank you. I, I guess. Um, <laughs> specialty? Specialty! That sounds so great. Okay, specialty size. Here's the here's the, the kick here. These are extra small, tall, wide leg, black yoga pants, and they are flared at the bottom. Flared yoga pants are so freaking in right now. I don't know what changed, something changed, you know, flare jeans became popular, but now flare yoga pants, if you can find them, even the vintage ones, you know, from like 2000s, girl, <laughs> let me just tell you what. So I fully expect, we have a couple of things like this in our closet, I think they're going to go. Relist them if you got them. All right. Fashion has spoken. So these sold for 12 I took the offer because we have had them. This was uh, SKU 895, and we're now into the SKU 5000. We had them a really long time. Yeah, these have been sitting for a little bit. So I said, no, 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 no. There you go. We'll take that. There you go. <clears throat> Rare. Yeah. Should I put in the listing? Very, rare. Very rare. <laughs> I didn't have a comp, so it was rare. That's exactly right. You can't find it on eBay. It's rare. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do. Okay. These weigh eight ounces. Let's see. We've got a pair of shoes. Okay, we got these. Uh, I don't know where we got these. These are the natives. The natives, I clean them. They're rose gold. There you go. Um, clean the bottom of them. These are really popular shoes. These aren't in the best condition, and we definitely could have gotten more, but I am trying to, Just trying to move, them, move right? stuff out of our house. Push. Okay, apparently we got them for free. Pushing these in some paper. Yeah. These sold, for, they should not go in this box. No way, no how. Okay. They are light as a feather. Yeah, we can put them in a padded flat rate, huh? Not even. Not even. They're only eight ounces. Oh, wow. Yeah, you need a box. These are first class. Sweet. So sometimes when you get an autopilot, you forget to like, oh, just because yeah. they're shoes doesn't mean they have to go priority. That's true. That is true. Let's see. Small. These eight. sold for 15 plus shipping, which I think the shipping, I may have charged $8.99, I'm not sure. I might be able to get them to fit into this. Okay. Just a little bit too small. Chelsea told me I could put these in the washing machine, and I had already cleaned them, so I didn't. But I'm interested in the next pair of these that I find. I'm interested to try it. Is this the same size? Yeah. I think this is a little taller. I 
just want it to fit perfectly. I know. And it's the same. What about this one? No. What about this? Likewise, yes. Yeah, it should fit. That one doesn't work, I have one that won't work. Mm -hmm. our videos today to see how the new camera angle looks and we realize how loud yeah. our packing supplies in real I'm life sorry. they're not that loud i don't know why the camera picks up like that probably sounds like an avalanche that yeah, probably sounds like thunder yeah. <laughs> very loud sorry Said they were going to be open today. Sweet. First class. Combined shipping. All right. These two tops are from Babette. I wonder if they smell bad. Well, we're about to find we, out. We took some, they had a little bit of a mothball y scent. There you go. And so we tucked some dryer sheets, the free and clear ones, not any scented ones. Oh. Did it work? It worked. All right. Y'all, this worked. We put some paper towels because I didn't want the dryer sheet to like get onto the fabric, although I didn't do that yesterday. Okay. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, okay. Smell. Whoa. I mean, that thing was, it was smelling strong. Did that one smell strong? Did, I don't did, think this one smelled. That's why there's no dryer sheet. I know, I just wonder if we missed it. No, we're good. Okay, so somebody bought both of these. This is the brand Babette, and this came from our high end haul. At the estate sale. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it, but <laughs> new brands keep popping up. Yes, they do. And this is, these were two, a brown and a black one of the same size, and she wanted to buy both and was wondering how to combine shipping. Do you want to talk about how you did that? Um, yeah, so what I did, she wanted, uh, we were going to discount and only charge her a single uh, shipping fee because we're able to combine them into a, one uh, first class shipment. So what I had to do, I told her not to pay immediately so that I was able to send her an invoice. And then on the invoice, uh, I just applied a discount because the invoice had both shipping charges on there for each item. So it was $4.99 for, the one for each shirt. So I just adjusted um, a discount of $4.99 on the invoice, sent her the invoice, and she was able to pay for both shirts with one shipping charge. Okay, it's all about just like reaching out, making yep. sure these sold for $40 each. Happy with that. Absolutely. And then when you when you're buying your shipping labels, if you I don't know how if it works on the regular if you just buy your labels one by one, but if you use the bulk shipping tool on eBay to buy your labels, uh, there's a link at the very top if you are able to combine um, multiple orders per buyer. And if it's an option, the link will, it's usually grayed out if you can't do it, but if you can, it'll tell you how many um, items there are to be combined. Where's the other? I don't know. It might still be in the bag. It might've come off the bag. 
Uh, I relied on Is it on a bag? No, it's not. I checked. It, yeah, it might. It may have come off yesterday when, you know, when I grabbed them to, uh, to measure. Yeah, that's right there. Thirty-seven ninety-four, right there. Right. They get stuck to the back ones. Why? I I don't know. You got it. Okay. So there's both of those. Okay. Next. Next. Your favorite thing ever, a Jerry Garcia tie? I can't. <laughs> Dan just bought a bunch of these when we first started reselling. Jerry Garcia ties. I'm not into it. They don't sell very well. Yeah. Uh, I, I, mm, Let me get a little box and some no, tissue. You just go for it, buddy. Okay. So this is the mandolin. Let me show you the freaking, freaking, freaking. There's this whole line of... Um, Yep. Ties from Jerry Garcia, and I don't know, it's fine. You know, I thought Deadheads would want it. We're friends with a lot of Deadheads, but they're kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so this one has like a little mandolin player on it. I think that's like the coolest one. This one was. Oh, it has a little spot on it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to. I don't want to know. Okay. So this, I mean, it had a very faint spot on it. You guys are probably seeing in the camera like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, this sold for, I will tell you as soon as I can read it, it's 100% silk. They're all limited editions, so don't like that fool ya. Um, $18. Big money, big money. <laughs> They're very quick to list, and we do sell ties. I just don't recommend that brand. We just, I think this is the first one we've ever sold. It we might, have, be, might be the first or second. And yeah. we have, <laughs> we like have 50. Like 50. Yeah, exactly. You want a thank you sticker on this? I'm ready. I'm, I'm oh. I need another one down here. These four by four boxes we get from eBay sometimes. Go. Yeah, we got a big one coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wanted you to unselect this one. Is that okay? Sure. It doesn't go out till Monday. Okay. We, have, we sold another guy, but I need to take it to the cleaners. It has some shmups on it. I don't mess with ties. I tried to mess with it. it didn't come out. There you go. Five ounces on the mandolin player. I mean, that is cool. All right. All right. Next. Excuse me. Are we, uh, we, no, what got else do we got? Got some press tones. The press tones. Finally, someone bought these in bulk. This, right. This is, is the, the only, only way, way we might be able to actually make like a dollar on this. And we hadn't updated the freaking listing yet. We really need to do freaking it. Freaking freaking. Freaking 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 freaking. Okay. All right, we've got this little box that I just had. Wet bandits. <laughs> This is radiator anti-rust with water pump lube. I don't, I don't know what this is, okay? But it was $1.29, and it had good sell-through, but then you have to ship it ground. Dan will go over how to do that today. Yes, yes. But now that there's three together, we might actually be able to turn a profit on these babies. Three sold for 20, where'd it go? 23.97. pounds three ounces this might qualify for cubic yes small heavy things i hear you this is a small and heavy oh yes. come on boom basically perfect but we need like some yeah. just a little bit of paper or like an air pocket or two. Would be, 
Oh, that's perfect. You want more? Uh, I don't think we're going to need more now. That's a lie. I know it. I heard it in your voice. No, but this is like pretty, pretty thick. Okay. Yeah, nice and good. Okay, so the rate the reason this stuff has to be shipped ground is because um, I don't think it's it's not flammable liquid, but it might be corrosive or it's got some sort of a special designation that you have to ship it ground. And in order to do that, I use the the parcel select service from the uh, postal service. And you do have to put sorry. You do have to use what's called a limited quantity label so that the carrier knows there's something potentially, you know, hazardous or whatever inside. And the way I do those is I just go to Google and do an image search for limited quantity label, save the image to my computer and then print it out on a Dymo label. Super easy. So it weighs two pounds, seven ounces. I'm gonna measure the box, nine by, I'm just gonna round up, cause good Lord, nine by seven by three. And if anybody has ever received anything in the mail themselves, like cosmetics or like batteries or stuff like that, you've seen this label before, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna write ground on our sheet here so you don't forget. This is nine. Okay, I just measured it. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We need a ticket. Okay. They were what, $1.29 a piece? Uh-huh. Press tone. This is gonna go Monday. Now the big boy. $1.29. Packing up a big speaker. I know you're excited. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> there I'm you go. negative excited. Negative excited. Um, all right. Yeah, we got Everybody's watching it. Like, if you had niche down, you wouldn't have to pack up the big speaker. That's exactly right. Uh, okay. Yes. No harm, no foul. Boom. This sold for 75 bucks. This is a powered subwoofer from Polk Audio. It's been plugged in the garage. It's been, I tested it. it sounds great. Do you have a video? I do not have a video. So oh, somebody's yeah. probably gonna try to scam us on it. We will see. So somebody in our Facebook group last night during the live list said that if they ship, they ship everything through pirate ship. Yeah. And um, so we try to get UPS to cover insurance on the last damage thing that we had. And they, they just, it's like a scam. <laughs> it did not work out. It's a freaking, it's a racket. Let me just tell you. Yo, I'm lint rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm lint rolling. Oh my God. It's much better, I'll <laughs> have you know. And anyway, it's a racket. Can you hand me the stretch rope, please? They said <laughs> that, do you need pool noodles or something? Uh, yes. Yes. The person on our... Let me just talk. Let's go for it. They sh they ship all their stuff through Pirate Ship in the heavy stuff. If it gets damaged, Pirate Ship covers it, and they don't even have to talk to UPS. And I'm like, oh, definitely shipping through Pirate Ship. Yeah. I don't want to talk to UPS ever. It's not, it's not pleasant. It's the opposite of pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> it's the actual worst. I'd rather talk to the USPS than UPS. They have this, it's just like, let me explain the racket while Dan does this. Yeah, you kind of, I still don't really understand it. Oh, I understand it. They get you in a catch 22 so they don't have to pay up. So you pay for extra, it's not insurance, you declare a value. Right. So we sent a $475 coffee maker and Dan paid extra to declare a value on said coffee maker. 
So we pack it. You guys watched us pack it. It was during our first week of Daily Grind. Yeah. Remember the, you remember the, the coffee the big, maker? The big Flavia coffee maker. We packed it. And we use the pool noodles, et cetera, et cetera. The buyer unpackages it, hooks the coffee machine up, says it doesn't work. Throws it into a U-line box for which we did not send it, <laughs> throw, because we had UPS go pick it up from him because that's their standard that's, that's when you how they do it when, when you, you report it. Yep. It's not insurance. The lady would not let us say insurance. Right. She Every time I said the word insurance, she was like, "It's actually declared value." <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so he threw it into a U-line bubble mailer box. Okay. So think about a box that holds bubble mailers. It's probably a pretty crappy box because it's a bubble mailer. Right. So that happened. And he threw it in there with water. Still in the coffee maker. Because he was like, it doesn't work. I'm not being held responsible for this. And we refunded him because of who we are as people. UPS gets there and says, oh, the box that it was in doesn't meet our crush standards on the corners. Here's a website of our standards for boxes of this weight. Right. This That's why I mentioned the certificate yeah. on the box. Because I didn't know this. I didn't know what those numbers meant. And I'm, I still haven't properly researched it. But I'm assuming that the edge crush test of whatever pounds is the box is rated for, that's the maximum weight of whatever you should put in the box. Right. So if the thing you're putting in the box weighs 40 pounds you should check to make sure that the edge crust test of your box is 40 pounds or more. Right. Okay. But this was not our box. No, this was not the box we packed it in. And we and she said, well, it didn't meet the crush test and there it was wet. Yeah. Well, we didn't send it wet. And, and Dan's like, we didn't send it wet. And she was like, well, it was wet when we got it. And we're <laughs> like, okay. And she goes, so how do we know what caused the damage? Um, and we're like, but we didn't package it like that. We have video of us packaging it and it wasn't like that that and she just gonna try to she could not well she could she was just being very litigious in her answers saying you know we kept saying like the buyer opened it well then it, it's however we found it and we're like but how would they know it didn't work unless they opened it right like it's a catch-22 i mean i guess technically you know they the buyer was supposed to save the original but who does that who saves the original packaging for something like because you're not expecting it to be broken so you're going to open it you're going to throw the box away and then you're going to plug your stuff in and whatever okay thank you <laughs> Tricky here. And we definitely didn't send it wet. There was no water involved. So no. like we are getting penalized for the condition that the buyer presented it in. And then they won't do anything. There's no appealing it. There's no nothing. So UPS, you know what you can do? Mm. <laughs> we have to use UPS. No, I know. I think I'm trying. You have to do it not so tight at the top, so I can like get them in position. You're yeah. trying to, you're squeezing the life out of it, buddy. Not so tight. Just need a little bit of pressure to hold it in place, and then I can go next. I've never been that funny. And she also, the, she, something about bubble wrap, like two to three inches worth of bubble wrap. So I'm gonna go get the new roll of big bubble and go to town on this thing. Because apparently you need two to three inches of. Who padding. knows this? believe it's a catch-22 because how are you gonna know it's broken without opening it right. once you've opened it you don't know how it was packaged <laughs> right okay so and i think this lady just answers the phone all day long and goes around the same rigmarole probably i really do i think it's a racket i don't think they pay out a dime this thing is going to be a 
Okay, so I'm gonna go get the other roll of bubble wrap and a large box. So what we could have done is just, I don't know, take it to the UPS store and pay to have them pack it because then maybe they insure their own packing. I don't, if we have a box, I don't know about the crush test. Like what if we don't know? We don't wanna ship things like this anymore. Anyway, this is a Polk Audio subwoofer. And it was, I don't know what we paid for it. $5.95 and it sold for $74.95 plus a ton of shipping. I'll let you know when we do the final numbers how much they paid for shipping. But people with these big electronics will pay so much money for shipping. It's unreal, like 50 bucks to get something shipped to them. So at some point, I'm just gonna start taking this kind of stuff to UPS and then maybe I'll deal with it. But yeah, we'll purchase our label through Pirate Ship. I really like that idea that they insulate and then they just pay the insurance on it. And you don't have to talk to UPS, that's amazing. Thank you for mentioning that. Also to get someone on the phone at UPS was a nightmare. We did finally get through to eBay and they took away our defects, so that was good. Which was also a nightmare. But other than that, I think we're doing okay. What's selling for you guys? Let us know in the comments. Are you excited for the live YouTubes? I am nervous. I just, I'm not nervous about the technology or whatever. I'm nervous about saying something I shouldn't or having like a stranger come in that I don't know because our live lists right now at, in our Facebook group are amazing and we have like 20 people that regularly attend and so we kind of know each other and it's a little bit easier but then kind of going worldwide with it is ee. we'll see how it goes we're gonna try it for a week and see I know a lot of people don't want to be on Facebook and I I get it I really do get it but I just don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully technology's our friend. Hopefully we don't get any like scammers. We're gonna appoint some moderators so they that can that can help. I don't know. Oh my god, Dan's slamming stuff around. I can hear it. So the garage is on the other side of where we are right now and I can hear all this banging happening. And the snow is melting so I can hear it all dripping. He's probably soaking wet. It's fine. We're going to be fine. We don't have too many more electronics like this. We're not really picking them up anymore because of how long it takes to test and uh, the shipping. It just takes so long that it's kind of niching itself down for us. We don't really have a choice. We don't have time enough in the day to do these YouTube videos and package up all these kind of electronics and deal with the returns and call UPS and call eBay. You know, it's it's a lot, so if we don't have to deal with them, it's easier for us to just not sell it. I'll still sell smaller things like VCRs, but this big stuff is for the birds. Oh my god, he brought in one of the boxes again that has all of the contents written on it. Y'all were making care, fun of me last time. Edge Crush has 32 pounds. Uh-oh. I had no idea. So all these boxes have an edge crush test on them? I better yeah. weigh this. All boxes should have a certificate printed on the bottom of how they're rated. Yeah. But like, I, the thing is, the box didn't weigh 40 pounds. We paid for 40 pounds for dimensional shipping. It didn't weigh 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. You ever think of that? Nope. But I'm right, right? Of course you're right. Oh. Okay, um, a whole bunch of bubble wrap. We're gonna, we're gonna make this ridiculous. Okay, this weighs 21 pounds. Okay. So our, our box should technically be rated high enough. So if we would have put the actual weight, they would have been over, you know, we would have got an overage and then they would have charged us a million trillion dollars. We put the dimensional weight and then they say it doesn't meet the box edge. <laughs> what? How do you win? You don't. 
Okay, you I want cannot, me to hold it? I'm really upset about this not going on the edge here. All right, here. Because look, it's already kind of, you might need to keep it or something. Which way should we wrap this one? I don't know. This way? Well, both ways. Both ways. Maybe two to three inches. True. All, All the, the ways. bubbles are going in. The bubbles were in! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, give me a piece of tape. Take my ring off. What's going on there? Your plastic ring? My plastic ring. <laughs> no, we're not real, Mary. <laughs> Don't ask. Silicone ring. My husband's a drummer. He can't wear a real ring. It's for safety purposes. Safety. Safety first. Don't want to have happen what happened to Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I did not buy him a plastic ring, okay? He bought it for himself. He has a real ring. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. This, I don't even know. If, uh, this box that I got might be too small. We're not selling stuff like this anymore, did I mention? <laughs> like, how much money is this costing a bubble wrap? I swear, I want to compare the rates of UPS packing this versus us because all of this shipping material. Yeah, I hear you. Like, I hear you. Y'all know how much you get call it charges? To pack something like this? I think it depends. It's probably a case-by-case -case basis. But... Well, at least then they can, like, do the edge Take the liability? Brush. Yeah. Yeah. ASMR. I bet this is so loud. <laughs> oh, my God, right? Sorry. A refrigerator, a mini fridge. Right. Yeah. Am I gonna be able to make this work? Oh, oh nope. Okay, so it is too tall. Too tall. So we're at about 16, 16, 22 is what I need. So. Oh. That one's 18, 18, 16. So that's not going to work. This guy wants us to mail that tie tomorrow cause for an event. <laughs> what, the, the air maze tie? Yes. Well, great. Should I try to wash it? Maybe. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this. There's no way I can get, compress this down to 18 inches. There's just no way. 16 by 16 by 22 is what I need. So, I'm on the hunt. 16, what is that one? 18 by 18 by 16. You need 22? Yep. Okay. So, do you guys know how to get out stains out of ties? I tried rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip, and I tried... Let me show you the tie. Where did I put it? I didn't realize that it had these discolorations on it. It's an Hermes tie. 
Where in the dang heck did I put it? I don't know where I put it, y'all. Dan put it somewhere. I do not know. But anyway, it has some discoloration on it. I tried peroxide and I tried rubbing alcohol, which is what Google told me to try. But this guy wants us to mail it out tomorrow so he can get it for an event. And I should have sent it to the Thai cleaning place, but you know, it takes a while. We have had Air Mary's ties clean there before and they come out beautiful. This guy wants to wear it to an event, and I'm like, eee. I don't know what kind of event, but uh, I might try to wash it. You can wash silk, but a tie is very, very delicate, and you have to wash the whole thing. This is also a much heavier duty box. Bruh. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is what's gonna have to happen. Oh my lord. <laughs> he is the biggest box I've ever seen. You could put a dishwasher in it or something. It's huge. Oh jeez. Alright, just I'm gonna move the camera so people can see what's happening. Where's that tie that Air made one? Uh it's hanging right there. Oh, oh okay. I wanted to show them to see if they had any cleaning tips. All right, I'm tilted down. So this is, yeah, like I said, this is a much heavier duty box as well. This thing is rated 51 pounds per square inch. This is a dish pack, that's why it's so thick. You got all the water drippies on you. A little bit. It's all the, all the ice melting off the roof. Do we have an ice dam issue? Not yet. I checked the, uh, the spot where it was leaking last time, and we're good right now. Okay. So this is this is going to get cut down, for sure. <laughs> but this is the only thing that I had that was this 18 by 18 by 20-something. So. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to just, like, pad the crap out of this. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, we're gonna use the box resizer tool. Yes. This is from Amazon, it's always linked below. We do need to get an affiliate store going yeah, one day. Yeah, we really do. We just don't have any time. These videos, we love doing them, but they take some serious time. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And I'm gonna trim this thing, like, I think about right at the eight inch mark. Is that, that puts me down below that, yes. A little much, so seven. I'm trying to get right underneath. There we go. Cool. This is quality entertainment right here, isn't it? Though. What is happening? It doesn't, I mean, just. Okay. I mean, how? I have air pockets, but that's not good. No, air pockets Rated. isn't really gonna work. 
I mean, pool noodle would be the best thing. Because we could just kind of run it around, you know what I mean? Because it's like the perfect size to cushion all the way around. But you need it to fill up the space. Yeah. So like all the pool noodles we yeah, have? Yeah, that'd be dumb, yeah. Uh, do we have card? We have cardboard, right? We can use some of that. Just kind of add to the weight, but I don't think the weight's the issue. I don't, the weight is definitely not the issue. Okay, so these inner ones, I can cut these. I don't really want to get rid of our boxes, though. Yeah, I know. Priority boxes, but I think that's frowned upon, even though they're recycled. That's kind of frowned upon, right? I know, but I, I hate here. Well, that. We, we got we got this. We can use. We got. Make them into triangles. You know? Yeah. making this up y'all we yeah. don't know what we're doing making it up as we go like everything we do we have no clue so just sho you're shoving it all to one side right well i'm putting the triangles into the corners yeah uh, well, that's, that's, not that's actually helping it's good it's yeah i mean i'm an artiste what can i say <laughs> Now I just need some kind of void fill, some more, I mean. It's still moving a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just shove it. You don't want to do the double cut? No. Okay. No. Like everything from that top thing. Can we use all that? Or no, that's that doesn't. Okay. Okay. So what about that poster tube that's sitting in there? I can cut that down. I've been saving the. Um, oh, that styrofoam thing is nice. Yeah, I've been saving the tubes from our bubble wrap. Where where did those go? I don't know where those went. I've been saving them. Yeah. I've been saving everything. Another piece of stuff. Where did they go? I've been seeing them. Did you throw them away? I don't believe so. Oh, yeah. Uh huh, here's one. I told you I've been saving these. I don't throw away anything, you know? I don't think so. I, I don't believe you. Is it your first time moving? I bet this is so loud, me digging no, this. No, look, because, I mean, a little bit. Oh, it is moving, I believe. It is more than oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, that was the huge stretch wrap. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry this is so loud. Okay, we're just gonna have to like. Put all of it in there. This is why we're not selling this stuff anymore. Okay, that is wedged.
have to like triple tape it too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't worry. Okay. A whole bunch on the bottom, also just in case. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the whole bottom is taped really nice already. Here. <laughs> right? So, okay. We'll move the camera in just a second. Okay. Oh. Sorry. We didn't want to leave this till Monday. We didn't have to ship it today, but. 18, 19, 21. Jeez. Get me to put this down there. Yeah. Right. Is that going to work? No. All right, I'll put it up here. It's not going to work. I'm going to try anyway. Oh. Bend up the knees. Twenty-six pounds seven ounces. Okay. So Twenty-seven pounds basically. Okay. Man, that was that was something. What did I say? Twenty-seven pounds? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna ship this on pirate ship. Do not forget husband of mine. Got it. Because we're going to ship at UPS, I'm sure of it, but we're going to go through pirate ship in hopes that if something happens, that they will protect us. I don't know how or why or where, and I don't know how pirate ship makes its money. I don't know, but we're going to do it. Because someone in a group told me that they had a very large package, and they put in a claim, and it was no problem. I trust my group. So are we doing the rest? You want to do everything, or just that one? We'll just do that one, right? Well, in the he small heavies, the... um. So we're going to get rates from this, okay. Sending from here. It is a box. I mean, why not do everything if you're already connected? Because it's faster. Oh. It, pirate ship, I have to do like the bulk screen on eBay is easier. Okay. And, and faster. 27 pounds. Twenty-four oh seven UPS credit. Okay. Hundred dollars insurance included. Perfect. Is it actually insurance? Well, through I don't know. That's what it says. <laughs> Declared value. Right. And then I wanted you to check on the so Prestone. Okay. <coughs> so you want me to buy that label through Pirate Ship? Yes, please. Okay. There's my tab. It's 3.53. <laughs> the roads are going to start freezing again at 5. So, Perfect. trying to get this stuff out of here before the roads freeze again. Okay, here's the label. Thank you. This is going very close. Going to Texas. Both of those, okay. And then print the rest of these labels to eBay. No, 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 I wanted to check the press tone. Okay. It's. Oh, there it is. Check it, what, on, on Pirate Ship? Yeah. 
Can we do cubic? Where you at, press stone, get rates. Okay. What are the dimensions? I have it right in front of me. <laughs> Nine, seven, three, two pounds, seven ounces. Who's still here? Check in below. Get rates. Priority mail cubic, 1096. What's priority mail regular? I don't know yet. Oh. But it's going to go ground? No, because it, there's, mm-hmm. Parcel select ground is 1119 on pirate ship. Okay. And it's probably gonna be the same on eBay. Well, at least we tried. Two pounds, seven ounces, nine, seven, three. 1119. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Bagpipes, go. Go. Thank you guys for sticking around. If you're still here, this Five is so nice. Plush. I don't even know what Freddy's is, but somebody spent five nights there. <laughs> mm. Rubber grand shirt. Pestones. Jerry Garcia tie. Miracle suit. Get your bathing suits listed. I wish we had more. I know, right? Particularly the one pieces. Those are the right. We do have some bikinis okay, listed. This is the athleta pants. check in with the mojo and then post office time no. time for your moment with mojo no. are you unpacking what are you doing no. really no. what's in there no. I gotta go to the post office say bye <laughs> get in there 
All right, you guys, I am back home from the post office. Everything's been dropped off and scanned. Had to go to a different UPS store because our regular one was closed. But hey, what are you going to do? So now it's time to find out what we really made. Action. Okay, so I already put everything into Vendu, and I'm just going to go over what we made. So the carbon pants, we made 1130 profit on. Cool. The Funko Five Nights at Freddy's plush, we made 42.89 profit on. That was a bins buy from Monday, 37 cents into 42.89. We spent $20.25 on the whole haul. So this doubly, doubly paid for it. Yes. Love that. Love it. Robert Graham shirt, we made 1203 on it because <laughs> we paid a lot for it. We paid up for this uh, 843 with tax. No thank you. Wow. The Prestone, we actually made some money on $2.40. Oh, awesome. So we need to go into that listing and put a three pack for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Purinata Mascara, we made six seventy six on. The Jerry Garcia tie, we made ten seventy on. The Miracle Suit, we made twenty one seventy eight on. The Athleta Pants, we made six seventeen. Lower profit items here, guys. The Native Shoes, we made eleven forty eight. The Babettes, each shirt, we made thirty one twenty four on each. Okay. And the thingy that was the big boy we made 60 34 we spent 55 dollars in shipping supplies though I'm, <laughs> i don't know i did want to tell you though that polk uh audio thing that we did sell so we charged 24.99 for shipping okay. and it ended up being 2407 so we're so, getting better yes we do not do calculated shipping i mean we just don't do it so we guessed we weighed it and we're like okay it's probably will cost as much and yep all right all right so let's see the dailies daily numbers so we sold 12 items i thought we sold 14 i don't know we sold 12. okay what? why uh it's 14 parcels because it counts everything oh, i see i see okay right. and we had some doubles and okay yep, yep. and so we made 407 dollars in sales and 248 dollars in profit all right that's a healthy friday yeah, and you know, some of these were lower profit, but they do all add up. So yes, that makes do. me excited. Let's see how we're doing for the month. Oh, fun. A couple of days in. I know, right? Four days in, 34 items sold. We're already up to 738 profit Not bad. in four days. Not bad. I'll take it. Yes, absolutely. So now we're going to do another part, what, part two of the bins haul it's from yesterday? It's very short today. I know you guys, it's been a long day. It has. Uh, it's very short. I got some clothes. Okay. Uh, one of the clothes is outside because it smelled so bad. I was sitting here listing and something smelled like cigarettes. I thought it was the Budweiser tank, but it wasn't. So this is Budweiser. <laughs> nice. This beer stuff sells really well for us. <clears throat> so I just got it. You know, it's lightweight. It weighs nothing. Yeah. Uh, this is an old school Reebok. I can't believe the vintage oh, dudes didn't wow. get it. Seriously. I was right by all the vintage dudes. It's just a fuzz. Is that like actually vintage yeah, vintage? Yeah, man. Paper tag Sweet. now. Sweet. 2XS. <laughs> Great. I don't know. 2XS. Double extra small. I think so. Wow. That's cool though, right? That is very cool. Alright, some hipster somewhere is going to love it. Oh, for sure. Um... These are some, remember when I was telling you? I was telling you, the wide leg pants are back. Yes, you were. These are Athleta, small petite. And they have the cool, this this whole flare leg thing. I'm telling you, it's a thing right now. <laughs> These are older Athleta, but they are going to, I'm going to price them high and let them move. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of what we pick up at the bins is either really high-end stuff that we magically find or stuff we know will flip or trendy stuff yes. because it's cheap and it's worth taking a risk right this is a new with tags um cacique bra love we, the bras. we love this brand and these bras it's like a balcony i mean um we call this bando so that's good uh i meant to put this back but i didn't it's lou and gray and loft and there this does have a following i don't normally buy loft things however I've seen a couple of Lou and Gray things in our inventory before. Yeah, but this is with Loft. Right. Uh, it's 100% linen. That's why I got it. I think okay. the style is really great. I think this will be perfect for summer. And, you know, it's so it's linen, so it's just like, not, it weighs nothing. That's funny. I haven't heard that in a while. Perfect for summer. I know. <laughs> and then I got these because I thought they were super cool. Again, we're just like, these are anthropology, a small petite. Okay. This is more of a style purchase than anything yeah, else. Yeah, look how cool these are. Those are pretty cool. I find that the anthro stuff that I get that's like actually a pronounced style does well. Yeah. 
if it's just like Lamo with a floral print or something, I'm like, mm. but if it has some <laughs> character and it, you know what I mean. If you move, if you wear it, people are gonna notice you. <clears throat> it does okay for us. Okay. And then I got. I don't know what this is. What is that? I don't, it I looks like a band shirt. I know. And it's definitely vintage. It's thrashed. I don't know what's happening with you over here, but something's to, happening. I'm just trying to move a little bit. Just like don't move. Because I'm almost done. Uh, it has like way, way bad pit stains. So I was going to try my new pit stain treatment on it. It's oh, a. You have a new patented pit stain treatment? I do. It's a spray called uh, Puracy. Okay. Stain treatment. But this is a paper tag, and I'm just going to. You know. I'm just gonna see. I don't know what this is. It might be terrible, but it weighs nothing. Yeah, so it's basically free. Yeah, and it's 100% cotton, which means I can like thrash this thing with bleach or whatever I need to to bring it back to life. Right. And I think these holes are awesome. <laughs> I just yes. think they make it better. They do. Uh, the other two things smell like smoke, so that's all you get. That's it. That's all the clothes I got. Yeah, we really weren't picking up a lot of clothes. I was as being... you can tell by the giant plush dog behind you. I know. I can't find this to list it. <laughs> I've looked up everything known to me. We did get two pairs of shoes, which you already saw. Yeah. But yeah, we're just not picking up that many clothes. We have a huge backlog to get through. And I'm only going to pick them up if I think they're going to sell. Right. This withstanding. This was an experiment. Yes. But everything else I think will sell. Great. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us all week long and we will see you guys on monday don't forget about the live on youtube yeah 7 30 have, have a good weekend don't forget. bye, bye.